Now, okay, so we've got to ask you, yeah. music-wise, you're now a solo artist. Yeah. I saw you in Stereo Kicks. Yeah. You then went to Union J, didn't yeah. last very long. Yeah. What happened? With the Union J thing, um, okay, so basically, if you, I'll be brutally honest on this one. I got randomly called in the office and the three boys decided to randomly say they didn't want me in the band anymore without telling me. Um, I've never actually said this before to any like one, so this will be the first time. Um, they randomly just, my manager, they were being really like fishy and I didn't get it. So she made me meet her at like Caf Neuro in Houston. So then I went there and, I, and then she was like, oh, how, how do you feel like do you about the band? Like, do you fit in? And I was just like, well, well yeah, like I'm enjoying it. Like, I like it. And she was like, see, I don't think it's working. And then she'd written out this leaving note for me, which was posted the next why day. Was it, why did that actually happen? That I don't know. I think what it was, in my opinion, I just think they were struggling with money, with gigs, and they wanted to get rid of a member so they would split the money. That's the honest truth. So this was after George left? After George left, yeah. I was in the band, wasn't I, when George left. I replaced George. But they just, like, I think a lot of it was a bit like, I'm, I don't know, I just feel, I don't want to feel like I'm being big-headed or anything, but I think a lot of it was jealousy as well because I was like the young one they were quite old, Uni and Jay, like, compared to me. You know what I mean? They were all, like... They were just really, like, from what I've, what he's told me, I feel like they were really mean to him, and mm. you just, like, you just felt a bit, like, mm. a bit of an outcast when he was around yeah. them, which isn't nice. Definitely, and I, I, like, You're I happier said... Since I, left, oh, though. so much happier. Like, since I've left, I've, I've done, like, quite a lot of TV work. I've seen Matt Marnie. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just been, it's been amazing since I've left. Have you spoken to the boys? None of them. None of them. Oh, you have said that you had. One yeah. of them tried, I'm not going to say who, but one of them tried messaging me saying, miss you. <laughs> I just didn't reply. <laughs> I, 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 like, to be honest, I just thought it was really like weird the way they got rid of me. Like, I just thought it was really unprofessional. I find it, it I just find it odd, you know what I mean? But I, I picked myself up again, you know what I mean? I, I'm not going to let it get to me. I didn't. And if I'm honest, it was kind of like a bit relieved. I know it sounds weird. They wouldn't let them do things. Wouldn't let me do anything. Like... Single air if they said I, I, I wouldn't be allowed to do that. They said, so, if, do you know what I mean? What an opportunity that is. Mm, well, two words, Zayn Malik. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Worked for him, didn't it? Did, it did. Going, like, going off on his own. Do you see yourself a little bit similar to the 1D boys? Because you've had a similar background. You've then gone different things. Oh, I think they're obviously like, on a much bigger scale. Like, they've killed it. <laughs> but, um, I love Zayn. I, I love Zayn as well. Zayn's my favourite. I do think that um, I do think what, what I said to Marnie is that I'm, I'm planning on just building my social at the moment, which I am doing, obviously with the shows that I've but been filming. But he's got filming. such a nice voice, it shouldn't be wasted. So when I get like, say 500k to a million, then I'll start releasing like my own yeah. stuff. But I feel like it's a lot about fan base. I thought you meant pounds. I was like, fab. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds awesome. And I mean, this is an amazing platform for you, Single AF. Yeah. Um, obviously you've met Marnie. Can yeah. we have a little duet? <clears throat> Maybe she can play the tambourine, spoons? Maybe can she yeah. sing? What? Maybe not now. Maybe oh, no, you could no, not now, but in the future. Oh, you oh yeah, 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 for sure. I, mean, I do. Yeah, I mean, I do try that. and sing along when we're in the car and stuff. I you mean, could rap. You can rap. Oh, I don't know if I can rap, man. I can give it a go. <laughs> you said you like my voice. Yeah, I do. Sounds yeah. So I sound like this is the new child. Carly and Jason. <laughs> Kylie and Jason even, not who's Carly. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got to ask you, Marnie, you've recently spoken out about Love Island. Yeah. Um, what do you think about that show? Did you watch it, both of you? Oh. I watched, because we were filming at the time, so I watched, I tried to catch up with it online, mostly. So I've seen bits and bobs, but I didn't watch the whole thing religiously. I d yeah, I, d I didn't really watch it religiously. I find it like amazing how they come off the show with like over like million, two million, over like 1.3 million followers each and stuff. They did really well. I think yeah. it's a really good I show. I think it's a great platform. And I like it how they're, um, they're all still together, which kind of... Because I, I love... Well, they, love. Probably, they probably, let's be honest, they probably stay together to make a bit of dough. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on, let's, be, let's be honest. Stop. But you've spoken out about Chris, Chris's behaviour with Katie uh, Price on the internet. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean... Um, you know what, I just, I, I'm a, a big fan of Katie Price. I just think it was like... I'm not a yeah, fan. Yeah, I, I don't like people that out people. Yeah, like that. that's what I, I, I just, hate like, screenshots and I don't like I people like... I hate people who turn to social media yeah. to like out people like that and yeah. put personal things up like I just think it's unnecessary. Are you both quite gobby on Twitter, is that fair to say? Is that yeah. nice to say both of you? Yeah, yeah. I'm quite opinionated. I'm not, not. I'm not opinionated, not on Twitter but I'm opinionated like. When? But on social well, media myself. I think you're very honest. Huh? She's annoying me now. When, when <laughs> the hell are you First argument. When have you both spoken on Twitter? I didn't, what did I just say? I just said very... I'm in person, I'm more opinionated. Oh, right. I, on Twitter I, I don't really but is I'm there anything like that you've done that you've watched back on television or seen back on the internet that you've thought I shouldn't have done that? Maybe, no. maybe next time in my next life I won't do that again. We'll have to wait and see. 
I'll have to wait and see. <laughs> I've already done everything that you can possibly do, so yeah. like nothing really faces us anymore. And no. I have to ask uh, Casey quickly: Are you? Do you get jealous when you see the scenes of Marnie kissing other people? Yes. On the television, things like that. I love that one for you know him. Yes, he I'll does. I'll be honest with you, but I do it more in a jokey way. I don't do it in. No, you know I do it as well, Marnie. I don't do it in like a weird way. Like I'll right, joke about. Right, is that a chill? Oh, here right, we go. you know that like, you get that green eyed monster just come out and but, you can't what, even what deny it. What were you saying last night? Oh, the girls, oh, look at all the girls, oh, don't look at them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I think you owned him last night, because the picture's on the internet this morning. You are snogging like a dream. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I loved it. Yeah, but yeah. seriously, you've had sex on television. You've been yeah. naughty on television. Is it difficult to see, to know about that? No. I don't, honestly, that's not, you know, like, at the end of the day, it, she was, it was, an, it's what she's done in the past. I didn't know her then. Yeah. She didn't know me, you know what I mean? That's how I see it. She's done it now, yeah. I'd be like, what the fuck? I like, wouldn't be with her, but... In the past, I mean, it's not I mean? as if I was having sex with random people. It was always with like it was with Aaron. So it's not like mm. he was an, he was an ex. So it's not like I'm doing it with randoms. Yeah, exactly. Everyone has sex. Yeah, it's yeah. Not, do you know what I mean? I just think that it's quite. People just get on the high horse about it, don't they? Yeah. But they do and it let's on, be honest, it's not like it's a full on scene as like covers. I mean, they do it on all the shows now. If you know, it's Love Island, like X and the Beach, like. It's just kind of normal now, isn't it? You've set the trend. Reality is just taking over and people are taking reality to the next level now. Amazing. Thank you so much, guys. And single AF, just quickly, three words, sum it up, just into the camera. Tell me exactly why people should watch it. Because it, well, in three words. Well, whatever, more than three it's words. It's exciting. It's drama, funny, funny exciting. Yeah. Oh, just literally been... got everything. Explosive. And Sorry. you found love. And we yeah. found love. Yay! Congrats to that. Thank you so much, no guys. No problem. Thank you. Thank you so much. Who wants to look, you know, simple when you can look stunning? I'm really sorry, we're very drunk, but we don't give a Hey, hey girl! No, she, she ain't hear me, she ain't hear me. <laughs> <laughs>